Time is running out on one of the easiest and most economical residency programs that you can get in Mexico, the regularization program. This video is meant to encourage you to go ahead and do something about it before it's gone. Welcome to our channel, we're Plan Free. I'm Lori. And I'm Eric. Time very likely could be running out on one of the most easy residency programs in Mexico. As stated previously, the proposed deadline to take advantage of the regularization program is the end of the calendar year 2022. We're recording this video in October, and to this point in time, after checking with our agent in Mexico, we've heard nothing to say that they're going to amend or extend this program in any way. And since it takes three or four weeks to go through the process from start to finish, you can see our experience about how we did that in this video here. You may want to consider not procrastinating. Go ahead and get the ball rolling on that if you qualify sooner than later. The program that we're discussing, of course, is called the Regularization Program. And what that gains you is temporary residency in Mexico. Four years usually, but you can buy it one year at a time as well. Some of the main benefits of this program includes the fact that you can initiate and complete the program completely from within Mexico, which is unique amongst these programs. The second benefit, which was big for us, is that you don't have to prove financials to go ahead and complete this program. That's a huge logistics efficiency and a time saver. In the case of us, we could have proven our financials, but it would have just taken a lot of time and running around in rigmarole. So the fact that they didn't require that was a huge benefit. Another scenario where that might be a benefit to you is let's say you're someone spending a lot of time in Mexico or eyeing a retirement there, except for the fact that at the beginning of this year, Mexico went ahead and increased the minimum income requirements for you to go ahead and do so. And let's say you became like no longer qualified. If you were to go ahead and qualify for this regularization program, you would be able to forego all those income proving requirements and still be able to relocate or retire in Mexico, even if you're under or below the minimum income thresholds that they have now, which will likely continue to increase. Mm -hmm. Overall, the cost of the program, which was about $2,400 Canadian for both Lori and I to go ahead and do, would probably be another benefit. Now, we're not sure what the regular procedure would cost, let's say going to your consulate in your hometown or country and mm -hmm. going through the whole process of proving financials, what have you. Uh, maybe if some of you have been through that here, you can add in the comments below. How does the cost of that relate to about $1,200 Canadian per person to go through and complete the regularization program? Mm -hmm. So we think that would be another benefit in that it's uh, low cost. We'll take a few minutes now and do our best to summarize the qualifications for you, just in case you might be one of those people that fall into these categories and want to follow up on whether you can go ahead and qualify for this residency program. Mm -hmm. Qualifications are very simple, pretty much three qualifications. The first one is you have to be in Mexico at the time of applying and remain in Mexico all throughout the process. So if that takes you one week to apply and get your appointment, then that's only one week. But if it takes you three, four weeks, you have to stay in the country to complete the whole process and get your residency card. The second qualification is you have to have visited Mexico at least one other time between 2016 and 2020. So a stamp in your passport, as well as that stamp needs to be logged in the Mexican computer immigration system. Some people have the stamp, but then they weren't in the system. There's every now and then there's a weird glitch like that, but most people, if you have the stamp, you're in the system. So the second qualification again is one visit between 2016 and 2020. Third qualification is an expired FMM. FMM is a, a Spanish term for the visitors uh, stay, the allowable stay. It used to be the piece of paper you fill in on the airplane when you arrive in Mexico. They've done away with that, I believe, across the entire country. If not, it will be soon. So there's no more paper to fill in, no more little card to hold on to for your whole six month stay. It's now just a stamp in your passport and they write the amount of days you get and that should co correspond with the entry in the Mexican immigration computer system. The third and final requirement for the regularization program is that you must have an expired FMM. So again, the FMM is just the stamp now, but if you entered Mexico on uh, January 1st, you expire six, if you got 180 days and your tourist date expires six months later on 180 days in June or so, 
then on that 181st day, you would qualify for the program. So about a month before your visitor stay expires, you wanna check with an agent or go into the immigration office and confirm that you're in the system uh, and that you would qualify for the program. Again, we can't stress how, um, enough how helpful our agent was. There's agents in all the states around Mexico. Some cities and states are a little harder to work with the immigration offices and some were a little bit easier. Um, we did ours in the state of Nayarit and our helper friend down there was marvelous, very professional, very diligent, uh, obviously a Mexican citizen. She spoke the language and whatever she was charging, <laughs> almost we would pay. Um, at the time we did ours, she was 5,000 pesos per person. I think it's gone up because the, there is risk that the program is going away and there's a really high demand. The amount of work she does and the amount of driving she does to and from the office, it's well worth, we, we would recommend that. If temporary residency or eventually residency is in Mexico is something that you desire to obtain and you think you might qualify for this program, we can go ahead and put you in contact with our agent if that's something you'd like to do. They can find out if you are qualified for this program and you can go from there. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the content, click the like button. It's free, it just takes a second, it helps a lot. Click the subscribe button and the blue bell icon so you always know when the next video is coming out. If you'd like to add yourself to the conversation, go ahead and add a comment in the section below. My name's Air. I'm Lori. This is Plan Free. We recommend you watch this video next.